Okay, welcome back to Frambo. I just solved that puzzle. You just saw the ending result of it. It took me way longer than it should have. But anyway, so welcome back. We are going to search this cabinet of curiosities. Oh. Sister promise. We, Clara, and Mia Bolhamet promise to revenge the Emperor Destiny if war decided for us. With blood and tears, we promise that we will kill him and bring our bodies back. We won't stand this any longer. Even though we are sisters, we hate each other, and we always hate each other. Nothing will change that. But now, our bodies attached to each other, we can't complete our task. Our strongest, the strongest will live forever, and the weakest will die. Mother must die. Ew. That's a blue rosette. I like it very much. Duotine. My pills are called Duotine too. Two-headed doll. It must be a really old doll. A pink rosette. Pretty hair directly. Hair decoration. Oh, the sisters have a huge scar in the middle. That's no good. Shiny stuff. Looks like a necklace. Pearls. I guess they're a broken necklace. And a key! What's this? Two skeletons? They are kind of small, like me. I can imagine who these two were. Then I'm not a killer. That's good. Let's go. And back, kitty. I think this is the key. It worked, my dear kitty. It worked. Come out. Let me hug you. I wish I had a kitty that looked like that. So sweet. Oh, this feels so good. I'm free, friend. My good friend. You are free, my dear, and it's time to go home. Yes, let's go. We need to get home, kitty. I hope the way back home isn't far away. I hope so too, friend. We can do this together. I can help you. Let's do this. We need to leave here. Mr. Frog, can you help us? I did it, Sir Toad. The girls are gone. That is perfect. Now we can leave this place and go to my family. I want to do that too, sir. I finally found my kitty. I just want to go home now and be with Aunt Grace. But how will you get out of here? There is no boat. I can't swim, and Mr. Midnight is so afraid of water. I would love to help you, but I'm too tiny even though my blood is quite moldable. It would be impossible to carry both to the other side. Let me think about it. Don't leave us just yet, please. Do I have anything? Baking soda! Take this toad, it may help. I'm not a bakery bun. But you are all slimy and soft, like dough. You're right, it may work. Here it goes. Look at you! It worked, it really did. I'm so big and I feel gorgeous. Great, let's go. Come, Mr. Midnight. Sure, friend. I only have one complaint. That giant toad is staring at me. What are you talking about? She just wants to help us, that's all. Alright, but if he tries anything, I will scratch him. That's okay, but try not to hurt him so much while we're sitting on him. The water is deep, and we don't know what kind of creatures are in there. If we fall in the water, we could die, kitty. Oh, I promise I won't scratch the toad. Let's go. Hey, girl, before we go, I forgot to give you something. I saw you in this picture, so I thought it was yours. Oh. And this book was with it, too. Hmm. Oh, Toad, you found my family photo. Thank you very much. I thought I had lost it forever, but the book is not mine. Oh, well, take the book as a gift. It's always healthy to read. It has many pictures. Wow, thank you. I like pictures. Well, let's go now. Yes, here we go. Hold on tight. <laughs> Onward! No. No. Oh my god, no. This is <laughs> not cool, bro. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, I got this. Oh, dang it. I had it. 
You made it! This one. And this one. Oh no, we're gonna die. This one. And this one. Nope. <laughs> Did I just- Oh, okay. I didn't just come out on the other side, did I? That would be so dumb. We'll just do it backwards. Oh, you can only go forward. Okay. Oh. Okay. We'll wait. It's always good to have patience. Yes. Someone else should come along, right? Patience. Go. I love the style, though. It's so flipping cute. I literally cannot go. Oh, dang it. Got this. Got this. Whoa. Come on, something, anything. Okay, good, we're good, we're good, we're good. And... Oh. Yes! Toad on board! Oh. Here we are, jump off now. Let's go, kitty! Well now, it's time for me to go home. I hope you find your family soon, Sir Toad. Thank you, thank you too. Farewell. Goodbye, sir, and thank you for the ride. Hi, Toad. Friend, what should we do now? Find the way back home, Kitty. Do you see the sky? It's dawn, and really soon all the scary things will disappear. Ah, I'm so hungry and sleepy, I want to go home now. Me too, Kitty. We'll find the way. I'll do my best to help you, my dear. Let's go. Yay! Kitty and friends! Now, wow, what a treat. It's very true. It's a nice treat. Oh dear, this bridge looks pretty scary. Oh, friend, come now. Come on, we have to go home. There's no time to be afraid now. Yes, but I'm a bit afraid of heights. Um, I can go first, alright? And then you follow me. Alright, Kitty, you are so sweet. I'll be right behind you. Don't look down, right? Do not look down. Kitty, what are you doing? Friend, wait. Oh, Why are you such a jerk? Oh my dear, I can't hold it anymore. I don't want to die. Don't die, my friend. Come on. You can do it. Jump. Alright, here I go. I got you. Yay, kitty help. <gasps> friend, no. Did I just die? Don't be afraid, friend. We always fall. After the pain, we will always rise. Is she bad? Oh dear Aunt Grace, don't even don't ever leave me. Don't cry, my little girl. Your heart is pure, but your mind is tormented. You have to stay and walk your own path. Please, Aunt Grace, why won't you just take me out of here? Please. You just leave me all alone like my mother and father did. I'm sorry, my dear friend. You will soon understand. Aw, don't leave Fran. Oh. 
it's time for your new medicine. It's me. Who else would it be? Friend, you are a tree. Don't be silly. Help me get up. Wait just a second. Where are my hands? Why can't I move? I'm telling you, my dear, you have become a tree. But, wait, but how? Oh, my dear, this was the end of the line. The big monster did this. I know, I know it, Kitty. He won't let us go home. I hope he won't come back. He was very scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that night. That night mom and dad died. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to go home. But you are a tree, my friend. A tree. I can't carry you all the way back home. Besides, I'm not sure where we are, either. Am I going to die, Kitty? Tell me. Please don't say that, friend. Don't leave me. But I feel so weak. What the flip? Homaka ignimi haloa. Kokok uma pasu hala ni. Igne chukul banti. Ah, be careful, sir. Why are you attacking me? Could you please tell me where I am, sir? Halua koke halua. Stop it. I'll scratch you. Halua runama it's just gibberish. I am not going to be able to say all that. What are they saying? Oh my kitty, why is this happening to us? Stop attacking me, please. I mean no harm. Kitty, help me. Find my purse, please. Maybe I can do something about this. I'll see what I can do, friend. Let's go. You guys are going to stop being mean. I see my friend's purse. Oh, uh, this. Yeah. in my mouth. Cool. There we go. We're stuck now. <laughs> Solving problems the cat way. Got the purse only because I'm the best. Well, you are definitely a cat then. So full of yourself. An old vegetable sitting in your boat. Stop attacking my friend, Carrot. Right, my darling, I got the purse. That's amazing. You are the best, Mr. Midnight. Now show the sir who's attacking me my family picture. Maybe he understands what a human is. Well, I really hope he does. Huh? Where are you taking me, Sir Vegetable? They want to help you, friend. I can feel it. Don't be afraid, my friend. I will be right here with you. And off into the sky we go! Welcome, creature. My name is Zog. Do you speak human? Oh my goodness, yes! Finally, words I understand! My good friend Ride told me that you showed him an illustration with four humans and a cat. 
I assumed that you were one of them, the little girl. Please forgive my good friend if he had scared you. We have never seen a human looking like a tree before. Yes, let me explain it to you. Ho ho, no need, my child. The seed will show me everything. <laughs> hmm, let me see. You are good, no doubt about that. A seeker of the truth. Very common of the Bow family tree. Ah, and your name is Fran. You are the girl with the passion for life. I see great love towards this little creature standing next to you. A cat, protector of the gates. Interesting. You can see all that in a seed? Be quiet. <laughs> I see something else. The seed does not hide anything. In a world nobody should see, nobody except for one. What do you mean by except for one? You mean the monster? You're not supposed to be here, friend. Well, duh. That is the only thing I can tell you, my child. I understand, but can you help me then? We can't let you leave now. It's too dangerous for us. You should never have been aware of our existence. There must be a way. Am I dead or something? Dead? What do you mean by that? You know, when you no longer exist. Besides, it's not normal to be a tree. I must be dead. Death is nothing more than the absence of love. Once you can not, when well, you can't feel love, you die. Even your body still walks. Then I'm not dead. You have to help me get back home. Little cat, come closer. Let me see. You. What is your name? My name is Mr. Midnight. That is indeed a very pretty name. Do you think Fran should go back home? Yes, I do, sir. Sh sir, show us the way back home. I implore you. Ah, I have a question. Are you the king? Ha, ah, you are hilarious. Yes, I am the king. The king of Ithirsta. What an honor, your highness. By the way, I like your leaves. They are pretty. King, sir, please, will you help me? Why is this need of you going home so great? The seed told me your story. You don't have much to go back to. There are many reasons, sir. But the most important is my aunt. She will protect me. I want to feel that somebody cares about me. I feel confused almost all the time, and I want to be someplace where I feel at home, sir. I see. You are very brave. I just want to go home. Please help me. There are things I cannot do, but I will help you. I will leave you to the door that will take you home, but it is your own task to walk through it. Really? Oh, thank you so much. And where is this door, sir? We'll talk about that later. First things first, you must be able to talk and walk in this, on this land. Yes, sir. That would be very great. I'm afraid I won't be able to bring your human body back. Only the great wizard can do that. But we'll talk more about him after the procedure. You must first understand our language. But how will I ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. Oh, yeah, because that's not disgusting. Your ears and tongue will be able to understand, but not your eyes. That means you won't be able to read. Don't worry about that. I can always ask. Excuse me, do you understand what I say, human lady? Yes, I do, and you sound so kind. This is incredible. Do you understand, my kitty? I didn't, your highness. I demand one fruit for myself. You don't need the fruit, Mr. Midnight. Our land is based on fragrances and sound. You'll see everything as your own world very soon, no doubt about it. You'll do fine, kitty. And sir, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, but I don't think I'm the right one to give you that answer. Now it's time for the procedure. Are you afraid of heights? <laughs> a little, yes. I get dizzy. Why? Take her upstairs immediately. Where are you taking me? What are you going to do to me? To get some arms and legs. Everything will be fine. I'll be waiting for you, friend. I love you. Aww. Yeah, sure, just... Is that Falcor? No, it's not Falcor. Good day, my name is Palantris, and I'm your doctor today, at your humble service. Are you the emergency case? Wow, amazing, what a huge, beautiful, fluffy thing. Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry, it's just that I've never seen anything like you before. I'm still trying to understand what all this is for you. That all this is for you. My name is Fran, I'm a human girl. The king sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. Oh, a human. I think we can get you a pair of arms and legs. But we'll have to travel a little bit further in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? What beast? Me. I'm the beast. Let's go. 
cute. He's cute. Here we are. Wow, this place is so beautiful and peaceful. I wish I could be here forever. Thank you. This is my home. This is where I was born. The spirit of the Greek Blonkis created it. It has the purest water in the whole universe. Oh wow, that sounds amazing. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can just stop it there, because that's a long episode already. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, leave a like down at the bottom and subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys around. Bye.